dear alumni, uh, parents, friends, Chag Sameach V'Kasher. Early on in reading the Haggadah, we read a story about five Chachamim who spent Seder night together in Bnei Brak. Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yehoshua, Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, Rabbi Akiva, and Rabbi Tarfon. Um, and they spent Pesach night telling the story of the exodus from Egypt all night long. Um, it's surprising to find them all together Pesach evening. Um, Rabbi Akiva lived in Bnei Brak, but Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Tarfon lived in Lud. Rabbi Hoshua lived in Pekin outside of Lud. Um, what were they doing all together on Pesach night, especially since Rabbi Eliezer in the Gemara says, Meshabeach ta'atzlanim, I praise those who are lazy, who do not leave their homes on the festivals. What are they doing all together? So several um, possibilities have been advanced through the generations. One possibility was advanced by Rabbi Yitzchak Abar Benel. Bnei Brak is not a location. Bnei Brak means Kelim Mavrikim. It means uh, glistening uh, uh, dishes. The question still begs, what were they doing all together? Um, and also Bnei Brak is a location which we know from so many places in the Talmud. Another possibility that was given, um, another possibility that was given, was given by Rabbi Zacharia Frankel, the great um, historian and Talmud, Talmud Chacham, and he said that it's very possible since these sages were living during the Roman period, that they returned from one of the many journeys to Rome on behalf of the Jewish people on Erev Pesach, and that they um, uh, didn't make it to each one to his own home. They were able to get from where they docked to one location, and they all went to Bnei Brak. Another suggestion was made by um, Rabbi, the great Rabbi Yosef Eliyahu Henkin Satsal, who said that uh, this occurs during the period of the uh, preceding the Bar Kokhba revolt. It's very possible in 130 something of the common era. Um, it was a, th a three year long revolt. It's very possible that they had convened in order to plan the revolt. And that's why the Chachamim were sitting and debating um, uh, the story of Yetziat Mitraim, is the story of the, um, uh, the exodus from persecution. And the Chachamim, uh, sadly, in their own day, had very serious persecution by the Romans. So the name is sort of a euphemism. They were speaking about the exodus from Egypt, but they were also speaking about their own planned uh, attempt at exodus from the, under the wings of the Roman Empire. I'd like to suggest another possibility and bring it home to our day. Um, during the time of the Beit Mikdash, when the Karban Pesach was brought, the Karban Pesach was eaten b'chavurah. It was eaten within a group. The group was, could be a family group, a large extended family group, or it could also be a group of friends. And it seems to me that the, the, the tradition of eating within a group, that Pesach means having a group together. Pesach means the basic social unit of the Jewish people coming together, a group of friends, an extended family, a group of neighbors, that that didn't end so quickly, that it didn't end with the Chorban, and that even after the destruction of the Beit Mikdash, when people were praying for the rebuilding, and especially in the time, um, as Rabbi Henkin pointed out before, the Bar Kochba revolt, in which the hopes were that the Mikdash would be rebuilt soon, it would seem to me um, a very natural thing 
for Chachamim to have gathered together and to have told the story of Yitziat Mitzrayim, um, which becomes connected with their own lives. And that's the point that I think of when I sit at our Seder, and I like to respectfully suggest that we all think of it, that, that we want to relate the story of Yitziat Mitzrayim to our lives. And each generation will find a way of relating it differently. No question that when the five sages were assembled in B'nai Bra, in, in a very difficult historical setting, um, they were no doubt contrasting their lives with the lives of that generation that was redeemed by HaKadosh Baruch Hu from Egypt. We're very fortunate. We live after 2,000 years in which the Jews were dispersed all over the world. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu has brought us back as a people to the land of Israel. We have our own state. We have so many blessings here in the land of Israel. And we pray for the ultimate blessing. We pray each time we say Shona Yisrei, we end with Sheibane Beit HaMikdash, the prayer for rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem. And it seems to me that we need to draw the line between our own lives and our prayers, our prayers that, um, that they will once again be a center of the Jewish people, that which will bring us all together, the Beit Mikdash, which will bring us all together in a unity of spirit, in a unity of devotion to uh, Torah, devotion to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and a, um, a sense of friendship, all of us together. So I wish us all a Chag Hasher V'Sameach, a redemptive Seder, and a Seder in which we find a way to draw that connection between Yitziat Mitzrayim and our own lives.